we think we are following your way, it doesn't mean that we are. We pray, Lord, only that our desire to do so pleases you. Good morning. This is the 18th Sunday of Trinity. And in our Gospel reading this morning, we will hear Jesus tell a parable set in a wedding feast. It's a metaphor for the Messianic banquet. So we are bringing you the Holy Eucharist this morning from Windmill Farm, otherwise known as Ocean View, in North Gower, wedding venue. We've celebrated many weddings here, and many of the weddings that take place in our churches have their receptions here. Later in the service, among other things, Father Nigel will be dealing with the issue of an apparent exclusion by Jesus, of an unwelcome guest. So let us listen for how Nigel will present this very difficult teaching for us as Christians. So here we are to worship pray, to be with the God that is closer to us than our own breath. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against Thee in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter Serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honour and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. to God, glory to God, glory to the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father, to Him be glory 
live forever. To him be glory forever. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Son. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Son. To Him be glory forever. For the 18th Sunday of Trinity. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us your gift of faith, that forsaking what lies behind and reaching out to that which is before, we may run the way of your commandments and win the crown of everlasting joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us be still for the readings. A reading from Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 1 to 9. O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name. For you have done wonderful things, plans formed of old, faithful and sure. For you have made the city a heap, the fortified city a ruin. The palace of aliens is a city no more. It will never be rebuilt. Therefore strong peoples will glorify you. Cities of ruthless nations will fear you. For you have been a refuge to the poor a refuge to the needy in their distress, a shelter from the rainstorm and a shade from the heat. When the blast of the ruthless was like a winter rainstorm, the noise of aliens like heat in a dry place, you subdued the heat with the shade of clouds. The song of the ruthless was stilled. On this mountain the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-matured wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-matured wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. 
It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Psalm 23 I will dwell in your house forever. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. I will dwell in your house forever. You shall refresh my soul and guide me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I will dwell in your house forever. You spread the table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil and my cap shall be full. Surely goodness and loving mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I will dwell in your house forever. A reading from Philippians chapter 4 verses 1 to 9. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and my crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved. I urge you, Odia, and I urge Sintich, to be of the same mind in the Lord. Yes, and I ask you also, my loyal companion, help these women, for they have struggled beside me in the work of the gospel, together with Clement and the rest of my co-workers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me and the God of peace will be with you. This is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord shall refresh my soul and guide me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Listen to the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, you, O Lord. Once more, Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding banquet, but they would not come. Again he sent other slaves, saying, Tell those who have been invited, Look, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. They made light of it and went away, one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his slaves, maltreated them and killed them. The king was enraged. He sent his troops, destroyed those murderers 
and burned their city. Then he said to his slaves, the wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore into the main streets and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. The slaves went out into the streets and gathered all whom they found, both good and bad. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing a wedding robe. And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding robe? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot, and throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. O Lord, open your word to our hearts and our hearts to your word. Give us grace to receive it, to understand it, and to obey it. For the glory of Christ our Saviour. Amen. Amen. Our Gospel reading is difficult because Jesus tells us that everyone is invited to the Eucharistic banquet. But at the end of this Gospel reading, someone is thrown out purely at first reading because they weren't wearing the right clothes. And then the Lord goes on to talk about people being thrown out into the darkness and the gnashing of teeth. Which reminds me of a Dave Allen joke where the priest is in the pulpit expounding on this particular teaching and one old man at the front says but father I've not got teeth I've only got false ones and the father turns around to him and says at the time of the resurrection you will have new teeth my child but that's a way of a diversion really the truth of it is that it's not talking about physical robes it's talking about coming with the right attitude into the banquet. Invite everyone you can find to the wedding, says the king to his slaves. And in this parable, Jesus implies that those who seemed worthy, who seemed to be fit in terms of being invited to the wedding, chose not to attend. They prove themselves to be, in fact, unworthy. So those who were initially chosen and selected to be honoured guests at the wedding feast of the Son, the privileged and the rich, they chose not to go. Other things in their lives took priority. They were so busy in building up their empires of finance and business that they didn't have time to prepare for the real things that were important, being dressed in the robes of sincerity and love. It's a mark of our human nature that God freely offers us the riches and blessings of his kingdom, but the lure of other more mundane things pull us away constantly. We ask, Lord, give us blessings, and Lord throws down blessings on us like showers of rain. But we get distracted, and we're looking for other things besides what we really need. As we're recording this service today for Sunday, it's the Feast of St. Cunnog. He is one of the Welsh martyrs and his shrine is in the church of Merthyr Cunnog, just north of Brecon. So we can claim him as a martyr of our diocese. 
He was killed for preaching the truth of love, putting on the right robe and sincerity and truth. And this reminds me of the blessed Oscar Romero, who was Archbishop of San Salvador. And he was assassinated on Monday the 24th of March 1980 as he was celebrating Mass in the Chapel of the Divine Providence Cancer Hospital where he lived. And he was killed for preaching this same truth as St. Cunnog, wearing the robe of sincerity, love and truth. When the blessed Oscar Romero preached on this very parable, he reminded his listeners that the good news of God is love for all. Love for all. And that the invitation to the kingdom of God, to the wedding banquet, is radically inclusive. Not just the rich, not just those who have high state in society but it's for everybody the humble more than the rich yet the temptation for those who are materially rich is that they perish as prisoners of their own identity perish as prisoners of their own identity translated from one of Oscar Romero's sermons Romero reminds us that to be a good Christian, it's not good enough to receive the Eucharist on a Sunday or have your children baptised. Appearances are not enough, he says. God is not satisfied with appearances. God wants us to wear the wedding robe of justice, sincerity, love and truth. And it is that that all Christians should be dressed in. The robe of love for each other. And so let us pray. Lord, help us always to be open to the many graces and blessings in our life. In a spirit of gratitude and in the acknowledgement that all things come from you. Help us to be generous with all that we have. We make our prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord, who reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. So let us confess our faith together. As I read in Welsh and in English, follow if you like in English or in Welsh. Credaf yn un diw, a tad o llalliog, gwnaeth i rhywnef a dair a phob peth gweledig ac anweledig. Ac yn un ar gloeddiaes i grist, unig Kenetledig Vabdu, Kenetledig Gan Atad, Keen at Hohoisoi, Du or Thu, Flewech or Lewech, Weir Thu or Weir Thu, Weddy I can headly, Nid Weddy I when I feel, and in Hanvod as Tad, by whom all things were made and for us people and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. Dio devoth ac ve chladwyd ac at gyfodoth a trydydd dydd yn ôl yr ystrythiriau ac esgynodd i'r nef ac y mae'n eistedd a dy hael awr tad. 
and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. Achreda vanin egloislan gatholig ak apostolic. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. A disgoiliav am adgavodiad amairu a bywyd a bid sydd i ddyfod. Amen. And now let us pray. In our intercessions today, at this time of the, when the pandemic is getting worse, we think about people who are ill, who are receiving treatment, those providing health care, those who are struggling in their daily lives because of stress and worry, and those who work to try and keep everything running as far as possible as normal. And we think of couples whose weddings have been cancelled because the venues are not available, because they can't get together with their families and friends and have chosen to defer their wedding day. And we think of the local businesses, not just here in Gower, but scattered throughout Wales where people are not sure whether in 12 months time their business will have survived because of the effects of the pandemic and the financial pressures they face. Heavenly Father, we bring before you our worries and concerns problems and needs of our friends and neighbours. We keep in our hearts all those who have said, pray for me, remember me in your prayers. We worry about the local economy. We worry about where the food supplies will continue unabated. We worry about our relatives in nursing homes who we're not allowed to go and visit, some of whom are nearing the end of their life. They may be feeling abandoned and unwanted because their friends and family are not allowed to visit them. Be with them all in these times of difficulty. May we all be dressed in the robes of sincerity and love. May we all reach out to those to whom you are reaching. Remembering that everyone is called to the Kingdom Feast. May we today keep in our hearts and minds those who feel marginalised, those who feel as though they are unloved. We make our prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit reigns as one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. And we 
pray together the prayer to Mary, the mother of the church. Hail Mary, Hail Mary full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou among women, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, womb Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may become worthy of the promises of Christ. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. I appeal to you, sisters and brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. All things come of thee. And of thine own do we give thee. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God. Troia si gris dein hargloi si troi ai angai, ai hin wedi din istrio angai, a troi ai at gefordiad, i vawid wedi ad verini, vawid treguido. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we, Lord, and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Agogoniant amal adioch Avoiti, Hotafiog view, Eintard Neville, Creaduach and Halu, Popeth, Aquanithiru Dean, Adadelu Dahin, Rodai Stainig Vab, yes, he greased, to take our nature upon him and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption. There he made the one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world at an institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memorial of that is precious death until his coming again. Gan honey o dad trigara gavan nun anna sanctai dio artha sprit glan de rodion hin o vara a guin vela gach luni o delf ben an ol o din had sanctai de vab an gwredur yesi grist by his holy institution that we may be partakers of his most precious body and blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take, eat. This, this is, is my, my body, body which, which is, is given, given for you. you. Do this, this in remembrance of me.
Arin moth where he supper, he took the cup. And when he had given you thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, making the memorial of the blessed passion, mighty resurrection and glorious ascension of thy dearly beloved Son, as he hath commanded us, rejoicing in his gift of the Holy Spirit, and looking for his coming again with power and great glory, we, thy servants, with all thy holy people, do set forth before thy divine majesty this bread of eternal life and this cup of everlasting salvation. And we beseech thee to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, and to grant to us and thy whole church remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. Agwedyun ami bau bohonom sin gavranog, or kamin bendigaid hun gael ein duachli atras at vendet nevel and kavriv an numni goganedist a saint. Through Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord, abor troido ev and or ev a chadag ev, and in door the respite of all runner, and glory be unto thee, O Dad of Lafayette, throughout all ages, world without end. The bread that we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? We, who are many, are one body. For we are all partakers of the one bread. We do not presume to come, come to, to this thy table, table O merciful Lord, Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, righteousness but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs of thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. As our Saviour Jesus Christ taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
Half a white Christ at Gadwana Bowe Traguido, draw near, receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, given for you. Feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious. For his mercy endureth forever. Almighty God, we thank thee for feeding us with the body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, through whom we offer to thee our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of the Spirit to live and work to thy praise and glory. Amen. Ragloi the God of Hui with your spirit and the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always Amen, Amen. let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In, In the, the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you.